Mick, as president of Limousin Australia, can, can you tell us a bit about the vision that you've got uh, for Limousin? Yes, Ben, as a board, we've got this idea of conception to consumption and, and we're very, very close to rolling out a Limousin certified product that will be available at retail level. Andrew, it's great that you know, you're involved with this whole project. Tell us, talk to us about some of the strategy that um, you'll be enacting for the group. Yeah, thanks, Ben. It is great to get, <clears throat> you know, to, to get guys together, and you know, it's pretty unique the Alexander Downs operation. You know that that we've been able to have the opportunity to work with. You know, our first certified limousine and branded beef project. So yeah, it is unique. It's very domestic market driven, um, a style of cattle to hit that very high end domestic carcass market that that Alexander Downs supplies. You know, it's the Rolls Royce of the domestic market. The operation here is well suited. You know, basically anyone in New South Wales can supply the program. So it's a great opportunity for the New South Wales breeders, you know, to move forward, for stud breeders to take something out and work with as an option with their commercial bull clients. We're flying first class here, the breed's gonna fly first class. It's a great opportunity to expose the breed forward with pull through demand from high end butchers. So mate, more than excited, it's awesome, yeah. Tell me a little bit about the evolution of the relationship between the Limousin in Australia and Alexander Down. Well, Alexander Downs have been a fantastic advocate for our product for quite a long period of time. And uh, we just got to the point where, where we recognised the need to have better integration with the meat supply chain and for us it was a no-brainer. You know, a business that is truly vertically integrated, family owned and operated, um, very easy to deal with and um, yeah, for us it's an absolutely fantastic opportunity to, to work with them. But the yield and the retail retail yield and dressing percentage in the, in the limits and cattle is, is unbelievable. Um, their feed conversion is, is very, very good. And we as stud stock breeders realise that, that, um, that we need to, to keep improving our genetics and that's another thing that, that we're really excited about. Uh, these alliances that we can we can collect data right the way through on these cattle and, and convert them, bring that data back with DNA and everything now easily brought back to sidelines and and so it, so we can we can feed back to the seed stock producer too to keep improving our product and making sure that we're retaining the, the eating quality that we've got and, and improving that as we go um, and then also retaining all our yield and those lovely carcass attributes that the limits and breeds really well known for. If I can speak on behalf of the board, that's what we see as a board as our vision is there's just so much potential to get some real um, relative data that's, that's not just something for a seed stock producer, it's relative to the industry right the way through from conception to, to consumption.